Okay guys, this is a Shogun 2 fight on Iwaki foothills against Jankez. I am Deadly Redcoat. This is a Avatar match made battle as well, so I didn't get to like pick the map or didn't get to pick if there's key buildings or anything like that. So Let's get the show on the road. Any second now. There we go. Just gonna pause it so we can take a look at the troop types. Yeah, what I've got is a one unit Yarikai. No, two units of Yarikai. Yariki, whatever. Uh unit of sharpshooters. One, two. Three units of Imperial Infantry, one unit of Black Bear Infantry. So uh, these are the Imperial Infantry. This unit there is Black Bear Infantry. Uh, two units of the White Tiger Force. It's like a militia. Um, Armstrong guns. That's artillery. And of course my general, who is there in the British. Marine uh, uniform, <laughs> British Royal Marines uniform. Finally unlocked it, so I like using it. Okay, let's look at our opponent's forces. He's got a lot of katana samurai or katana kachi, as they're called here. So I've gone for a more like a uh, army that's based on the emperor's style of fight, fighting, and uh, he's gone for the shogun's uh, style. So he's got shogun infantry as well. He's got Katana Kachi, he's got Shoga Shogatai, whatever they are. Probably like that police thing. Uh his general I think is that one in the white right there. Looks quite cool actually. Um some more katana kachi. Uh some more shogunate infantry. And some parrot guns as well. And I believe he had a load of hidden stuff in the bush, but like, let's get this game on the road. On the go. So what I wanted to do was go and take all the buildings. So I'm going to get marching right away. I'm moving my artillery forwards. Get my white tigers forwards. Opponents pulling forwards his artillery as well in a second. Yep. I prefer the Armstrong guns over the pirate guns though. So I'm pulling my entire army forwards. I have to be wary of these hills and uh, the fact that he's got so many um, Katana units. These guys could slice and dice me in a couple a couple moments notice. So it looks like he's going to change the colours of some of these. I like I prefer them in the red like that. Uh, and I'm guessing that's Ian's just watch my uh Shogun fight. He's messaging in the games now. <laughs> So uh, this Shogun Infantry is the opposite from my uh, Imperial Infantry. So what I've done is broken my lineup. So I've got my Imperial Infantry at the back and my more militia style weaker units at the front. There goes my artillery firing. We nailed the cannon as well. Tell you what, my last two games, oh well my last game even, I nailed the cannons on that one as well. Oh no, I didn't nail the cannon. I thought I did when I first watched it. I killed the horses, so. Ouch. There I go, hit a cannon. Uh, the accuracy on these guns is pretty good. I 
I love that sound effect. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, they're routing. To me, that's job done for now. I believe they come back there in a couple moments. But for now, they're fleeing. I uh, change the target and start hitting his infantry. I'm just gonna hit stuff that's relevant to where I'm doing my operation. I can see his generals over here, so if I miss that unit, I might have a chance of hitting his general as well, so... Missed quite a few shots, though. At that point, I see that he's going behind the hill, so I decide Engage to swap targets. The good thing about this unit is it's still full. <laughs> So whilst my artillery is giving them hell, I've been moving my army forwards, taking positions on the field. Uh, I've got my cavalry out on this flank. Got some cavalry up this hill as well. This is where I find out that he has a lot of hidden units in a moment. An ambush, general! An ambush! Yeah, I heard an ambush, an ambush, and I saw this snipers come out, but I had no idea they had all these all these units down here. I've only got two cavalry units as well, so for me to lose one here was quite a, quite a bit of a blow. And I will lose that. I tried to rush forwards and uh, just try and get his general or some of that bow catchy, but I don't make it. So now I have to pull my cavalry unit over from this flank and try and get it back over onto the other flank. Well, you'd be be able to use it more effectively. In the meantime, my artillery is still opening fire onto these guys. Boom. So he's in range of my uh, my white tiger militia. I call them militia, because that's what they seem like to me. My artillery is now targeting this cavalry unit on the hill. Since I was one unit down, I wanted him to be one unit down as well. Balance it out, balance it out a little bit better. This is what I call the fall of the samurai. Oh yeah. <laughs> White Tiger boys for like uh survived that one. They forced the uh, enemy back up the hill for the time being. Hold position. I also ran my general over, and my general's gonna start shooting at his unit from across the hill. Yeah, some movement in these uh, bushes out here. Oh, also his uh, artillery has now come back from routing. So they're gonna start firing shots onto my guys, supporting their uh, infantry advances. So I decided to shoot up here. And uh, nail his infant his uh, artillery again with my artillery. So I got unlucky with uh, another round of fire there. Now his units routing. So I decided to shoot here because I remembered he had two units clumped together, so as you can see with the corpses on the floor that these guys, the Yari 
Kachi, and uh, the one behind is the Shogun of Infantry. Now he's going to try and separate them now. So at this stage I saw that he was going to go make a break for this building over here, which increases his stamina and uh, movement speed of all the units, whereas one which I've already got is, uh, increases the armor and melee defense of all units. Melee, whatever. <laughs> so, at this stage I was devising some tactics. I pushed this unit forwards a minute ago. Just see if I can take some shots onto these um, Shogun Thai guys, whatever you want to call them. Shoggy Thai. But the uh, terrain was in the way, so. I open up on these guys again. I tried hitting these uh, sharpshooters with that artillery there. It totally didn't work. Over on this side of the field, he's uh, brought these two units over here. Corpus 1, as he's named this uh, Shogun Infantry. And he's brought this Katana Cat Kachi over to assist it. Which is a good idea. I like to back my units up with some sort of support. Yeah, I added this guy onto my friends list uh, today. I don't think he's a bad player. As soon as the game started, he was like, congratulations. I was like, what's up? He's like, you won. I was like, how have I won? <laughs> the game just started. The problem which I have with his strategy is he's got too many swordsmen, but he hasn't got the, uh, the mind to attack. He needs to close in with those swordsmen to get the uh, sufficient sort of charge that he needs. Right, so now I'm bringing over this unit of Imperial Infantry and, uh, well, two units of Imperial Infantry. One I'm bringing over to the right, this one I'm going to walk along the cliff to uh, come over here to attack those two units down there. This one I'm going to use on the flank and put it over this way. And I'm going to come in. My main goal is to take this building because then that's going to force him to come out. So once you take that building, a timer starts up. I do still have some shells with this artillery, but I just not use them yet. Okay, so he's moving his sharpshooters down the hill to attack. Ja ja minimo mio mo mio mate. <laughs> That's what it's called this general, I can't, I can't read that. Jaja Riyama. Whatever. Alright, so I'm pushing my two lines forward, just scouring the hills, making sure that these are going to be safe under my command. Looking for these Shogun troops. My general's just sat up here, chilling. At least I can tell who he is now because of the, uh, the end of his sleeve. It's got the British Royal Marines style uh, sleeve there. So that's cool. And he's got the shoulder pads as well, which he didn't have before. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to see if he's alive. Alright, I, I wanted to walk my guys at this stage of the fight because I realised with most of his uh, troops down there being melee troops so they're gonna have an advantage if I run my troops so just trying to keep an eye on everything at once I decide what I'm gonna do is come around this side of the uh, building whilst I take it 
And then what I'm going to do is make an attack from the front and then from the flank at the same time. So my units for now are just going to uh, stick around this area. Take this building. I have my general up here for support as well. His general stop moving down here. I wonder what that does. Oh yeah, I want that on. <laughs> so you can increase the minimap on this like that. It's pretty good. Shows you the terrain and the locations of my units. As you can see, I've got a long line going across the field. Gives me uh, the advantage to wrap around my opponent. And... Uh, so I've basically got him all surrounded in this area up here. I've taken these buildings now. In a moment I'll be able to advance on these positions. So I'm going to move my general down this side. So I can see he also fires and he's got more range than the uh, infantry I've got as well. So I'm going to put him up here to shoot from the rear. Uh, this unit can go to that from the flank. This unit can make the frontal assault. Notice how I pick my weaker unit to make the frontal assault. Means I can get more flanking fire. Obviously, I had no idea how he was going to be set up because he's hidden. So he gets the first volley right here. I decided to go for a downhill charge on these uh, Katana Kachi as well. Don't know if that was a wise move. Yeah, in the middle there, killing loads of them. <laughs> so yeah, I lose that fight. My guys break there. But at the same time, he also lost this unit temporarily. So I decided to rush my general up quick. Get some shots on these guys. See if I can make them route for good. Your general is under attack. He charges over the uh, katana kachi. I retreat my general. Try and lure these uh, swordsmen over this way so I can fire at them. But at this stage in the game, because I had both of those houses, there was a timer counting down, so he had 10 minutes to uh, retake a building or wipe me out. So time was on my side right now. So when that time runs out, it means that I win. Oh yeah, he sent his general to come and uh, attack mine a while back. My general, but he forgot to uh, stop him. I think it was more focused on the katana catchy. See my general right here. Not a good shot. I didn't want his uh, general's unit to get away. A oh. unit has used all available ammunition. That is his general. Cause he was the one in the white coat, if you remember. Lost. 
<laughs> so there goes his general. And for me that was ideal because now all of his units are going to suffer a morale penalty. Shaken, wavering, you know, I've got this on lock. So I decided to push forward to my troops, see if I can lure them out. But instead he decides to try and go for my uh, general's bodyguard unit. I need to keep an eye out over here because at some point he brings those snipers out of hiding. And tries to kill off my snipers. I'm not sure how these guys here died. Unless that sniper fight already happened. Which it could have. I'm thinking it, could, it did already happen. Never mind. But I will go for an attack real soon. I'm just going to go and attack and try and wipe out all of the cluster of uh, things in there. Cause yeah, can't wait for the time to count down. Fair enough, you could do that. But I hate people who camp and just wait for that timer to count down. So. At this point in the game, I was just thinking, well, I've got both buildings. What more of an advantage do I need? Let's just go and... Well, both buildings, I'm just general. Might as well kill all of these guys. Pull back my cab. There's this one guy who's just like broken off from the rest of his unit. Yeah, get out of here. Killed the guy next to my general. Oh, here we go. He's gone for an all out attack on both flanks. Now this is our sniper fight I was on about. Oh no, the snipers are gone. I see that there's a lot of uh, of that bow cavalry behind his uh, main attack. My cab's going to attack his uh, bow cab over here. I'm just going to hunt down as much of his units as I can and just route them. And that was that. End of the battle. For the victory to me. So let's take a look at the results. It's nice to see an opponent without so many like upgraded units for once. The Japanese death poem at the bottom though. Laying in the shade, dappled sunlight warms my face. A welcome farewell. I don't see the point in those Japanese death poems. Alright, so I had uh, 90 more men than that, this guy. I lost only 397, he lost 758. Sick of the look at the unit statistics. I like the how this game shows your opponent's statistics as well. So I almost got 200 kills in my Armstrong guns. And for artillery, that is, that is pretty good. So anyway guys, thank you for watching that, there's the results if you want to look again, and I uh, hope you tune in to some of my later videos, I've got another Shogun video that I'm about to uh, record and put up as well, so tune into that, it'll be good.